Person or Persons Unknown is a return to form for writer Charles Beaumont. After the previous few episodes of his that aired, it was nice to see something that felt like it was in his wheelhouse. There is another installment in particular that this one brings to mind though, so does it stand on its own or feel like too much of a retread? David Andrew Gurney wakes up after a long night of partying to see that his wife Wilma doesn't recognize him. Thinking it's some practical joke, Dave ignores her and goes into work. However, when he arrives at the bank, his co-workers don't know who he is either. Eventually, the police are called, and Gurney is taken to a psychiatric hospital where he's told David Gurney doesn't exist. That identity is all in his head. Not believing it, he escapes and tries to track down anything that might prove his case. Beaumont set up this story pretty well. The premise ties into a quote by Serling from years earlier. The worst fear of all is the fear of the unknown working on you, which you cannot share with others. Dave is the only person who knows what's happening to him. It's driven him absolutely mad that his own friends and family have no idea who he is. At first, he's more annoyed and angry about his wife's perceived game, but I think it really sets in when Dr. Kozlenko at the mental hospital allows him to speak to his mother over the phone. Hello, Mom. Oh, thank God, thank God. What's the matter, Mom? Don't you recognize my voice? It's Dave, your son. Mom, now stop it. Don't do this to me, please. It's easy to empathize with this guy, which makes it simple to be invested in his plight. While I think Richard Long's performance is hit and miss, it doesn't take away from the character's relatability. The supporting players he interacts with also helps to round out this episode. Frank Silvera acts in the best of these secondary roles. His turn as Dr. Kozlenko isn't cruel, he's actually trying his very best to remain calm with Dave, but the good doctor does epitomize this alternate world Gurney finds himself in. These two actors also had a really good antagonistic chemistry. There is no David Andrew Gurney. You're lying. Oh, come, come, why? why? I don't know. Why? Why I don't should know, I? But you are. You've got to be. I see you're going to require more proof. Well, that can be arranged. Oh, uh, you haven't met your fellow patient. That's Winston Churchill. So he thinks. Poor chap. No one knows who he really is. Winston Churchill over there is listed as being played by an uncredited John Brom, the director of this episode, on IMDb and Wikipedia, but I don't think that's him. Maybe I'm wrong. You be the judge and let me know in the comments. Brom did a solid job with this episode from behind the camera. It's not his best, especially coming off how amazing Shadowplay was as his last installment, but he did well steering this ship. This isn't a knock against the episode, but it does call to mind season one's A World of Difference. That one was written by Richard Matheson, directed by Ted Post, and starred Howard Duff. It had a similar premise, with the main character being transported to a world where his life is a TV show, and he's played by an actor. No one believes that he's really the character he portrays, and we get a lot of similar character exchanges. A World of Difference is without a doubt the better episode. It's more dense, stranger, and has stronger performances and directing. Plus, the twist of the main character's life being a TV show in this other world was so much fun to see play out. Person or Persons Unknown doesn't go down that exact same route and is more basic in its concept, but it's still a good show that does enough to stand on its own. On the run from the authorities with a stolen van, Gurney ends up at a photo developer, where he asks to see a picture he was going to pick up for his wife. Lo and behold, the photo is there, and it's a recent shot of Dave and his wife. Before Gurney can run off with the evidence, Dr. Kozlenko and the cops arrive to stop him. When he shows them the picture, his wife has gone missing from it, causing a nervous breakdown. Dave then wakes up in his bed at home. It's the day after the party again, and all seems okay. Thinking his experience a nightmare, Gurney is shocked to see that his wife Wilma is another woman. Our main character, frozen in confusion and horror, ends the episode. It's a semi-predictable but serviceable double twist. I love the last couple images of Dave staring forward at this woman claiming to be his wife. The facial expression is great, and the lighting on that shot is fantastic. It was a good way to go out. A couple other quirky tidbits I liked were how Dave called his wife a nut. Nut. And how he just jumped out of the psychiatric hospital's window to escape. I'm gonna go out and find one of those details. Now! 
Him repeating the wrong dollar amount to Dr. Kozlenko was also kind of funny. Okay, that'd be dollar seventy-five. Hey, wait a minute, you owe me money. A dollar eighty-one to be exact. In all, person or persons unknown has some effectively tense moments, good pacing, and mostly quality acting. Not the absolute best from the writer or director, but a sound entry that I'd recommend. Just don't drop any forms of identification while watching. Otherwise, who you think you are might be lost to the Twilight Zone.